Lord, tonight there's some folks here who could so easily get healed, so easily get delivered, so easy, so easy. And I, the reason I know that is because the Holy Ghost is here. Everything is easy for him. Everything's easy for you, Lord. So easy. And I pray right now. That poor guy in 1 Corinthians, Paul wanted him thrown out of the church. And in 2 Corinthians, Lord, Paul wanted him to take him back because he was a broken man and he had repented. And Paul told the church, take him back in because he's going to be overcome with sorrow. What he was talking about, he was going to commit suicide. And Paul didn't want that guy hurt because he had repented. He was broken. He was a Christian who was living in sin, who had no godly sorrow before. But after he was thrown out, he developed godly sorrow for his sin, and he cared that he had hurt God. He hurt God. And if you don't have that, you're not going to be able to get healed or delivered, friend. You're going to be coming to see me five years from now, struggling with spirits and sicknesses and everything. You're going to be sending me an email seven years from now. Brother Mike, are you still around? Please, Lord. Please, the Holy Spirit is able to create mourning in the soul for sin. And I apologize to you, Lord, for all the sins I committed, all the times I hurt your feelings, all the times I caused you tears in your eyes. And I'm asking you to forgive me for what I did. I'm asking you to forgive me for what I said. I'm asking you to forgive me for my attitude, my Nebuchadnezzar pride, my Herod pride. I'm asking you to forgive me for listening to demons compliment me and tell me how wonderful I was. Tell me to get involved in all kinds of things that turned into failures. I'm asking you to forgive me for listening to demons, Lord. I should have told them to shut up just like you did. I should have done, done what Paul did and commanded them to come out. I'm so sorry I didn't do it. And I'm asking you to forgive me. Please help me. Please help me, Lord. I cannot live anymore like this. I'm not going to live anymore like this. I can't take it anymore. I'm tired of failing. I'm tired of being a loser. I'm tired of missing my destiny. I, I've been called. And I've got to answer that call. I've got to. I've got to answer it. I don't care if my spouse, my kids, my parents, I don't care if nobody wants me to answer it. I'm going to answer it no matter what. Nobody's going to stop me. And I'm asking you to forgive me. I'm asking you to forgive me for using flattery, for listening to flattery. It's a sin. It's all a sin. I am asking for forgiveness. Please help me. Please help me, dear Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Please help me. I need help, Lord. I'm willing to pray through tonight. I'm willing to push it. I want to be healed. I want to heal others. I want to help others. I don't want to be deceived and tricked like poor Oral Roberts was. Beautiful man of God. Listening to constant compliments. Every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. I don't want to do that anymore. Please forgive me. Please have mercy on me. I want to do that. I want to fail. I'm tired of failing. I'm tired of losing. I'm just worn out with it. I really am. I'm tired of bad relationships. I'm tired of bad attitudes. I'm tired of my emotions controlling me. I'm tired of losing my temper. I'm so sick of it. Because every time I do it, I hurt you. I don't want to hurt you anymore. I love you, Lord. It doesn't look like it sometimes, but I do. I, I do love you. I don't act like it sometimes, but I do love you. I'm sorry. I don't look like I'm sorry sometimes, but I am sorry tonight. Tonight, I'm sorry. 
that I am sorry. And the demons cannot stop me from being sorry. They cannot stop me from opening my heart. They cannot stop me from fighting back. They cannot stop me from answering my call. They cannot stop me. I'm asking you to forgive me tonight. In Jesus' holy name. In Jesus' holy name. Now, if you could relate to that prayer, I want you to come down the front here so you can get delivered tonight. If you prayed that prayer, you say, hey, that sounds like, that kind of sounded like me praying there. Come on down here and see me. Yeah, the devil got me involved in a ministry that blew up in my face. I shouldn't have listened to the devil compliment me and tell me what a wonderful person. I, I'm going to repent of it tonight. The devil got me involved in another ministry. Everybody said they would help me, and guess what? Nobody helped me. Everybody said they would support me. Guess what? The money dried up in two seconds. It was a trick. It was a trick. The demon of comfort came to me when I was living in sin. He brought me drugs. He brought me alcohol. He brought me sex. He brought me everything to comfort me so he could torture me again. Then he comfort me again. Then he would torture me again. Then he made me an addict. He turned me into an addict. Well, the demon of addiction, he's... He's going to leave me tonight, that's for sure. I'm not returning to that anymore. This is the end. This is it for me. This is it for me. I'm going to be that Second Corinthians guy and come back to the church with a broken heart, ask him to forgive me and take me back for marrying my stepmother. That's what he did. He came back and Paul said, forgive him, help him, have mercy on him. Please forgive me, Lord, for not having any godly sorrow, for taking offenses against people. Please help me for that. Thank you, Jesus. Please help me, Lord. I need a miracle tonight. I'm asking you to help me. Please help me. I was raised with a mother who criticized everybody all the time. She nitpicked me. Now I got a critical spirit. I nitpick people. That's, that's quenching the spirit. That's destroying my anointing when I'm nitpicking other people. Please forgive me, Lord. I know that's wrong. I know it's a sin. Please have mercy on me. The demons of comfort came for me. He brought me drugs. He brought me sex. He brought me relationships. He brought me love. And it all ended in a disaster. Just like he wanted. That's what he asked. He wanted me to do it so he could destroy me. And it worked, but it's not going to work tonight. This is the end. This is the end for me. Have mercy upon me, Lord. Come on, now, say it. Just tell him you're sorry. Tell him you're sorry you hurt him. Tell him you're sorry you made him cry over you. He's cried over you. You know why? Those are tears of love. He's cried over you, watching you sin. Are you a Christian sinner? That's the worst sinner to be. A sinner sinner is not as bad as a Christian sinner. Are you a Christian sinner? You keep sinning and you know it's wrong, you keep doing it? Wow, you're putting your head on a chopping block. You're asking for a guillotine. You're asking for it. God have mercy upon my soul. And tonight, the, the devil will take his filthy hands off me and he will let me go tonight. Isn't he going to let you? You're going to stop doing this, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're going to stop doing it, aren't you? Thank you, Jesus. I'm so sorry, Lord. Please forgive me. Tell him you're sorry. Thank you, Jesus. Please forgive me, Lord. Help me. Please forgive me for what I've done. Say it. Help me, Lord. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Lord. Please forgive me now. Have mercy upon me, Lord. Have mercy on me, Lord. Please forgive me, dear Lord. Help me. Help me, Lord. I repent of it tonight. I repent of this thing tonight. Oh, this thing's ugly. It's ugly. There it is. It's ugly. Come out of me, you rotten spirit. You demon of comfort, I command you to come out of my body right now. Come out of my body right now. Get out of there and go. Come out of there right now. Come out and take a breath and blow. He's right there. He'll come right out. He's coming up right now. That's him shaking you. Take a breath and blow. Come on out. Come out right now. Come out right now. That's him right there. Thank you. There it is. Here they come. Come out. Come out. They'll come right out. The Holy Ghost is 
Ready to go. He's ready. He's ready. Out of me in Jesus' name. Every negative thought, all the lying thoughts, all the negative thinking patterns, come out. Come out of me right now. Come out. Every spirit from my husband, out of me. Right now. Go. Every spirit from my children, out. Go. There it is right there. There it is. There it is. Come on out. Right now. Go. Come on. Let's go. Come out of there. Let's go. Here we go. Come on, sweetheart. I forgive every ugly man that ever touched my body. All of them. Every one of them. Every disappointing male. There it is. Every disappointing male leaves my soul tonight. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on now. Hold that, sweetheart. Come out right now in Jesus' mighty name. Come out right now. There they come. Thank you. The demons are coming out now. There they come. There it comes. Come out now. Come out there, buddy. Loose your hold, you devil. I said loose your hold of her. Get them ugly men out of there right now. I release them and I forgive them. Go. I forgive them and go. I forgive these ugly people. Go. Oh. I forgive these people. Yeah, there, you criticizers. They're liars. Get out of my body right now, Satan. Get out of that body right now. Come out of there. Hurry up. Get out of there and stop blocking my anointing. Stop stealing my gift of healing. Stop it. Come out of there. Stop. Stop stealing my anointing. Come out of that body right now. Get out of there. there they come. Come out of there right now, I said. Disappointments of ministers. Disappointments of people. Disappointments. Come out of that body right now. Hurry up. You get out of there. You. Demon of rebellion, I come against you in the name of the Lord. He's supposed to be a faith healer. You know that. Stop stealing his life from him. Come on, buddy, you filthy pig. Come on, buddy. Come out of there, you pervert. Get, go. Get, go. Go. Come on, buddy, you pervert. Get out of there right now. Come on. King Herod demons, go. Nebuchadnezzar, come out. Come out right now, you liar. Come out right now. You demon of rejection, you got in when I was four years old. Come out right now. You child molester, go. You child molester. Come out of there right now, you demon of adultery. Go, buddy. Go now. Come out, Satan. Move it. Move now. Come on now, sweetheart. You're a very loved person. Very loved. And that's what you've been dreaming of for a long time. Somebody to love me. The Holy Ghost is here. He loves you. The Lord Jesus is here. He loves you. I know. Everybody criticizing you. Everybody run you down. Everybody saying negative things about you. It started in childhood. I get it. Tonight, you're going to get it. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I called you, says the Lord. Satan, I command you, come out. Let go of her. There he is. Keep coughing. You're coming out right now. Keep coughing. Come out right now. Come out right now. Come out right now. Satan, lose your hold of her. Come out, everybody. Hurry up. Quickly. Come out. Come out there. Come out here, you lesbian. You homosexual lesbian, I curse you. Come out. Come out. You sex pervert. You pedophile. I call you out, you pedophile. You demon of pedophilia. I hate your guts. Come on now. Jesus said you cannot serve two masters. You got to hate one of them. You got to hate one of them. I hate sinning. I hate demons. I hate Satan. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. I curse the demon of comfort. Stop complimenting me. Stop talking to me. Get out of my body right now. I want you out now, you rotten devil. Now go. Call that buddy right now. Get out of this preacher. Come on, preacher. Come on, this preacher. 
Come on there, you stinking devil. Demons from childhood. Childhood spirits. Go! Come on, my man of God. Hurry up. Let go, Satan. Let go, Satan. Come out of there. Get out of there, I said. Come on, buddy. Come out. Quickly. Come out. Every ugly, every ugly man, go. Go, I said. You get out of that body, right? All those disappointments, all that heartache. Come out of there right now. All the people that let her down. In Jesus' mighty name. Come out of there. Come out of there, you witch. Out of there quickly. Quickly. Come out. Come out of there, you prophetic spirit. Every demon from church. Come out of their mind. Come out of her mind. Mind control. Come out. Mind control from her dad. Come out right now. Mind control. Come out of her throat. Come out of there quickly. Hurry up. Lift out of her. Lift out of her. Quickly. Lift out. Come out. Come out. How'd he get in there? How'd that thing get in there? What's that? How'd that thing get in there? How'd he get in there? She's got Satanists in her family, witches in her family. Remember their names? Remember their names? She's got, she works with people that practice Santeria. You remember their names? All the people in your family? What's Alfredo's wife? You remember their names? Do you speak English? Her mom is Rosalina. Okay. Now, tell her. Tell her. Tell her that we're going to start praying for every one of those people. Start praying for them? Yeah, right now. Dear Lord Jesus, say it. I'm praying for, what are their names? Say it. I'm praying for, I'm asking you to heal them. I'm asking you to bless them. I'm asking you to heal them. I ask you to forgive them. All of them. Everyone, name them out. Name them out. <clears throat> If you got witchcraft in your family, you got to pray for each member of the family involved in witchcraft, every one of them, by name, and you ask God to have mercy on them. You ask God to forgive them. You ask God to bless them. Come on now. Lord God, I ask you to bless Grandma so-and-so, Aunt so-and-so. My mother did tarot cards. My uncle was a sorcerer. I ask you to forgive them, Lord. I ask you to have mercy on them. Everybody that put a spell on you or spoke a word curse on you, you, you forgive them right now and you pray for them. Ready? Love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who despitefully use and abuse you. Pray for them right now. Mention their names. Sally, Bob, Harry, Carlos. Joaquin. Come on now. Mention their names. Mention their names. God have mercy on their souls. God forgive them. Lord Jesus forgive them. I forgive them. I release them. Come on everybody that called you every name in the book you put them at the top of the lift. They called you every name in the book. You're an MF. You're a C. You're an SOB. I don't care what they called you. Whatever they called you, you put their names at the top and ask God to forgive them. Ask God to have mercy on them. Ask God to bless their lives. Go. That body right now. Hurry up. Come out of there. Every demon from church. All the church demons. All the church demons. Kundalini. Kundalini. Every demon from a prophet or an apostle that spoke over your life. And transferred a spirit into you. An apostle. A prophet. No. No. Come out, Satan. Come on, buddy. There it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. There it goes. There it goes. Out you go. There it goes. Heal. Come on now. You speak in tongues now? Go ahead. Come on, speak it out now. Speak it out, sweetheart. Come on now, speak it out. Pray harder. Come on, honey, pray harder. Hey, did she get all of them? Did she get all of them? Yeah. Did she pray for all of them? All of them? Yeah. Okay. Did, was she involved in witchcraft after that? I was. When I was a kid, when I was a young, when I was a Did you repeat it? 
She never repented of that? I think that she has. I, this is the first I've heard She's she repenting right now. Yeah. Did you repent of that? Hey, listen, witchcraft's the worst thing you can do. That's the worst thing there is. That's worse than killing people. Worse. Witchcraft's at the bottom. And you got to have... What? The other day I had a bad manifestation. My, my tongue was sticking out and purple. Yeah, like her tongue turned purple. We were doing deliverance at home. No. Go ahead and repent of it. I'm sorry I hurt you, Lord. I got into witchcraft. Witchcraft's the worst thing you can get involved in. There's nothing worse than witchcraft. That's the worst thing there is, period. Murdering people isn't as bad as witchcraft. If you were in witchcraft, come out. If you were in witchcraft, I need some godly sorrow out of you right now. Come on now. You're in trouble. You're in trouble. Did you putter around with a Ouija board? Did you putter around with a tarot? Did you do that when you were little? Holy, oh my God. You didn't do that. You did do that. Okay, hell is coming to breakfast at your house. Hell is going to hunt you down. Witchcraft is the worst thing you could ever get involved in. Come on now, let's repent of it. My God, have mercy on me. I renounce Ouija boards. I renounce tarot. I renounce horoscopes. <clears throat> I renounce crystals. I renounce rainbows. I renounce blessings. I renounce evil from witches, warlocks, sorcerers. Did you go to a psychic? Did you go to a psychic when you were young? You bought a ticket to the gates of hell. You bought a ticket to the gates of hell when you went to the psychic? When you walked through that door? You bought a ticket. Come on now. Psychic. In the name of Jesus, I repent of every second I spent, every second I spent talking to a psychic. God have mercy on me. God have mercy on my soul. Every second I spent talking to a psychic, I renounce every single second, every moment. I command this familiar spirit of psychics to come out right now. Come out of me. <laughs> come out, devils. Come out, psychic powers. Have you got arrogance and pride like King Herod? You got arrogance and pride like King Herod? You... Repent of it right now. Pride cost Satan his kingdom. Pride cost him his kingdom. Pride. Evil. Pride, arrogance, and rebellion are evil. Evil. You got to repent of it right now. Come on. You got to repent of it. You got an attitude. You got a gangster? Are you a gangster? Are you a big shot? You had to be a big shot. Is that you? you? If that's you, you bought a ticket to the lake that burns with fire and brimstone. Come down tonight and repent of it. Mercy is here. You got to repent of it. I renounce pride and arrogance. I renounce evil. I renounce evil. In the name of Jesus. Broken hearts get miracles from God. Broken hearts. For the Lord is nigh unto those who have a broken heart. He saves those who have a contrite spirit. Thus saith the Lord. Pride costs Satan his kingdom. It will cost you your destiny. It will cost you your call. 
from God. Come on now. You are to answer your call tonight. You are to answer your call from God Almighty. Come on now. You are to repent of your sin tonight. Let's go. You are to repent of your sin tonight. Let's go. Right now. Come out. Just confess it. Thus saith the Lord. If we confess our sin, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. And He will cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Unrighteousness. Just confess it. You got to confess it. Come on now. Are you an adulterer? Did you used to be a player? Did you used to commit adultery? Were you a fornicator? If you were, you picked up a transfer spirit. You picked up a transfer spirit from the person you slept with. The person you slept with transferred a demon into your body. You fornicator. Come out! <clears throat> Fornication, come out! Are you into anal sex and oral sex? Are you living with somebody you're not married to? Are you gay? Are you trans? Come down tonight for your healing. Come down here tonight for your healing. Come down tonight, your, your sexual perversion spirit. Come out. You are not gay. You are not trans. You are not gender fluid. This is a satanic hoax. Satan moving through the country, possessing one person after the other. Tonight, you will not be possessed. You will be delivered. You are not gay. Come out! You are not gay. You come out. You're not trans. Come out. Right now. Trans, come out. Right now. Right now, thus saith the Lord. Come on now. Let's let your praise go. Can anybody sing in tongues? Come down here and join me. I'm going to pray in tongues for a minute. If you can sing in tongues, come down and see me. Remoshava Yelore Ramushirua Yendora Re Lola Uliria Those women that are screaming, those are screams of freedom. Do not be worried at all about somebody screaming. They're getting healed. They're getting delivered. No problemo. Do not get af afraid over somebody screaming. Those are fear demons coming out. Fear demons come out. Sometimes they scream. Come on, sing it out with me. Yundare Wondre More Rirura Yendore Yendore Remoshe Luba Luba Wondere Tonight, you're to be healed in your body. That's a spirit of infirmity. You come out of there right now in the name of Jesus. You got pains in your body. If the pains move around, if they move around to different areas, that's a spirit. That's not a medical condition. That's a spirit. If you got in a car wreck and you got whiplash and you can't get healed and it just won't heal, that's a spirit blocking your healing. 
demons get in during trauma and then they block your healing. Your body wants to heal, but it can't because the spirit of infirmity blocks it. He blocks it. You demon of rejection from childhood, you don't belong in here. Come on, that body right now. Everybody that criticized me, everybody that made fun of me, bullying, bully demons. Get out of the man of God. Come on out. Come out of there. Come out right now. <laughs> right now. Derek, come out of there. Come out right now, Satan. Loose your hold of the man of God. Stop trying to take his mind. Stop it. Stop that. Stop that right now. Come out of this preacher. Go. Get out of this preacher. Come out of there right now. If you got weird body... What's going on here? I've got a question. Yeah. Um, I have been to the courts of heaven, and I have been to have generational curses and things in my family. Um, but I'm not seeing the fruit of Ed in my family. Now, uh, listen. <clears throat> Are you guys related? No. Are you friends? Just, you friends? We're friends? Okay. We're not related. Okay. Now, listen. <clears throat> You seem like a nice person with a loving heart. Is that true? You seem like a person that really loves God. You seem like a strong Christian. Is that true? You got targeted. And you went somewhere. Yeah, you shouldn't have gone there. It doesn't work. It's not real. That's why it doesn't work. Bye, sweetheart. See you tomorrow. Okay. Courts of heaven. I wonder why it's not working. Let me think about that. They got to come out. And the rest of it. All the other stuff. It's not just courts of heaven. Is it? You've gotten words spoken over you. Prophets talking to you. Right? Who are the kids? My son. How old is he? How old? Uh, 40 and 45. And who else? Their wives and I have grandkids. Great and they're all what? Unsaved? No. They're all what? They're Why were you praying for? Um, because What's the problem? Because of the um, spirit of witchcraft and Jezebel that's life not a thing that's running in their lives. And it's not working. Did you ever wonder why? Well, I know they have free will choice. You did too. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I was hesitant to tell her, as you saw. I'm sorry. I was hesitant to tell you. Okay. You saw that. Did you see that? Yes. I was hesitant to tell you. Yeah. It's familiar spirits. They're worse than the demon of comfort. 
they pretend to be God. And they look for people like you, not rotten people. They don't care about them. They want you, good people, good people, gifted by Christians. That's who they're looking for. What church you go to? I don't at the moment. Oh, good. That's good. Or do you go? I don't have a label. I don't either. Um, I, I, we actually came down here because I have it uh, in my heart that. Come down here from where? Where? Right here. Where do you come down from? Uh, Chino Valley, Prescott. Prescott. You live there? Prescott area. You in Prescott? Yeah. We came down. <clears throat> Listen, Prescott's almost as bad as Sedona now. Yeah. It's it's familiar spirits running a mock up there. The witches have been, been running there for Rotten and wild. And the soil is hard. And now they're in the church. Taking people to heaven. Some of them go to hell. It's not Jezebel and Ahab and all that with your kids. That's not the problem. That's not the problem. That's a trick. The demons told you that was a problem. They always do that. Tell everybody that. They give them a whole laundry list of demons. They name them. It's all a joke. <clears throat> And then good people like her with a golden heart like she's got, they come along and they go, oh, it's Jezebel. Well, I'm going to pray against Jezebel. Nothing happens. It's not, not going to work. It doesn't work. I'm telling you. Go ahead and keep doing it and then come back in another month and tell me what happened. I'm telling you, it doesn't work. <clears throat> Listen, it's sin that's the problem. Sin is the problem, not Ahab. There's no, there's no courts of heaven. Heaven is here. You got the Holy Ghost. That's heaven. Yeah, there's heaven. He's in there. Now go up there. Lies. It doesn't work. Jezebel, come on. No, that's not Jezebel. That's a bad attitude, pride, and arrogance. Repent of that. You can't get Jezebel out of somebody. They're telling you to do that because they're trying to burn up your good heart and your efforts and they're trying to discourage you. I've been doing it, but it's not working. Well, it gets discouraging, it's tiring. That's the goal. That's why they do it. It's a trick. <clears throat> I read the book. It's not. <laughs> did you read that book? Did you read the book? Did you read Courts of Heaven? Did you read that book? Did you read it? <laughs> did you happen to notice something funny about that book? There wasn't a lot of scripture in it. You haven't noticed that? <laughs> well, do you remember any scripture that has the courts of heaven in it? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now, if you were a young person right now, I'd just overpower you. But I can't do that. So, you need to repent. And if I was you, I'd do it fast. 
because these familiar spirits like to give people cancer. That's our favorite thing, cancer. If you all through the prophetic movement, all kinds of people come down with cancer. It's from them. They're doing it. I want to go to courts of heaven. Well, this person comes in and testifies they went to the courts of heaven, and then these 50 people over here, they go, well, I haven't gone to the courts of hell. When am I going to go? So they feel deficient, and the other person feels puffed up because I've been to heaven. It's a setup. It's a plot. They planned it out. Who goes to the courts of heaven? People that are legitimately spiritual, like this woman. What's your name? I'm Holly. Holly, like Holly here. Holly's a legitimately spiritual. And she has a strong spirit man in there. So they're going to target her, not David Dumbo sitting over there. That moron will just do what he's told. She's got to be led by a superior intelligence. And she's intelligent, smart. Aren't you? So they targeted her. The guy that wrote the courts of heaven, but he's smart. I went to his service over here last year. Watching what, what he's doing. Huh? I went to his service. I was there. He comes here a couple, two, three times a year. I wanted to see what he was up to. Familiar spirits all over the place. Demons running amok in the service. Nobody knew it. No one knew it. People were vibrating, falling, choking. Oh, you know, crunching. Have you ever seen that? Have you seen all that? Have you seen that in your church? No, I mean, have you seen that in those churches? Shaking, jumping, crunching. Crunching, you know, you ever seen crunches? Yeah, those are the demons manifesting. They think it's God. It's all a show. And then they come and call me. They come in, see my, there's my office. They come right in there. Hey, Mike, my God, this is falling apart. This ain't working. I'm sick with this. My kids are that. Their lives are ruined. Hey, you ch check it out. You know, if you don't believe me, you check it out yourself. Just because I said it doesn't make it true. Okay, you got to check it out with the Lord. So, Brother Mike said the courts of heaven is demonic. So, I'm not just going to believe what he says. Okay, that's fair. I'm good with that. You go to the Lord and you check it out. And then you come back and see me. <laughs> Holly. I love you, Holly. <laughs> YouTuber. Who's that? Remember Dora? You remember Dora when she was little? Oh my gosh. How did what happened? How do you get this big? She's got night stalkers in her closet. Night stalkers. Oh, man. We can't have night stalkers. Who, who's that? Oh, you're her cousin? Your name's Ken? Kenji. Oh, Kenji. Great. Yeah. Uh, now, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, girl? Well... Are your parents in, in some spiritual things? Or your grandparents or anything like that? Were you involved in any spiritual things? Well, there's a chicken in your closet. Okay, somebody was involved in spiritual things. Somebody's going to get in big trouble here. Chickens are in the closet are very deadly. They're, they're terrifying. They're going to come hunting you down. They hate you. The devil told them to because he hates you. Is it because I eat chicken? It, you what? Is it because I eat chicken? No, no, it's not because you eat chicken. I eat chicken and I don't have chickens in my closet. 
Now, now I want you to think. Now, come on now. Who's involved in spiritual things in your family? Spiritual things. Who is it? <clears throat> is it a friend that you invited over? Did you ever do horoscopes or readings or palm things or tarot cards or crystals or anything like that? Do you know anybody that ever did that? You do. Now, who was it? Who was it? Some, something's not right here. Come on now. This chicken thing is going to get bigger and stronger, okay? And it's going to get out of control. Right now, he's not, you know, taking over. Does he know about the chicken? You know about that chicken, Kenji? But he, actually, he, I was, what? I was, I was, I was in um, her room one night. Who I was? Heard, Who was? I was. Oh, you were. Was, What'd you? And I was in her room. And yeah. It was like a deep voice speaking to me saying, get out. And I ran out the room. Like, okay, now, come on. Some, okay, this is getting dangerous here. Now, I want you to think. How'd he get in there? He got in the closet somehow. How? If, if, if he's talking to people, this is much worse than I thought it was. This is beyond chicken. Yeah. You heard you heard him say it? Yeah. He told you to get out. That means he owns that room. You sleep in that room? Yeah. Well, you get out of that room right away. Don't worry. Now, somebody, some, she what? She's about to move to a new country very soon. Where are you going? Where are you moving to? Milwaukee. Oh, Milwaukee. Uh, um, look, think for a second. Let, this last time, I'm not trying to pressure you. Just think about for a second. How did that thing get in your closet? Somebody let him in that closet. Mm. Are you? Is your parents here? Where's your mom and dad at? What'd you say? Are they here tonight, or are they at home? They're here? Oh, where are they at? Where's your mom at? Hey, go ask your mom to come in here, would you? Go ask your mom. How did that thing get in her closet? Yeah. Is there something in her closet? What did it look like? You didn't tell your mom about it. Did you? Did you tell her about that? Go ahead and tell her. Uh, she, she was saying that it was like a chicken, and I went to, I was in her room, and I heard like a very deep voice saying, "Get out!" And I ran out. Did you know any of that? Is that your dad? Oh, oh your uncle. Oh, nice meeting you. Good to see you. Now, what's, what is she talking about here? What is happening in the house? How did that thing get in there? He told him to get out of the room. This is serious. Somebody's involved in some kind of witchcraft. Uh, now, that's... a. Very bad sign. That's a very bad sign. Get out of there. The demon that keeps pumping negative thoughts in her mind and telling her stupid things. I bind your power. Hey, come out of body right now. Get out of there. No, there it is. I bind your power. Weaken. Weaken. Come out of her frontal lobe. There he is right there. Come on out. Come out of her frontal lobe. Right now, quickly. Come on out. Come out of her frontal lobe. Out. There you go. Come on out of there. Get out of that body right now. Get out of that body. Hold that. Come out of that body right now. Quickly. Out. Stop telling her stupid stuff. Come out of that body quick. Quickly. Quicker. And quickly. There he is. 
Stop lying to her. Stop telling her stupid stuff. Stop it. Stop it right now. YouTubers, this is Brother Mike. It's time to sign off. The devil got blown out tonight. Hi, Gary. Hey. The devil got blown out tonight. Be right with you. I have a Friday off. I got you a ball. Oh, thank you. The devil got routed tonight. Hey, there, buddy. Love you. Oh, uh, what's it? Hezekiah? I'll talk to him. What, that guy? No, no. Okay. Okay, YouTubers, listen to me. I want you to go to the website, hardcorechristianity.com. I want you to hit the teaching button there at the top. Go down and read, read the article, please. How Satan controls the mind. Read the other article. Satan's counterattack. If you have your gift of tongues and you have not been using it, please read the article. Glossa. Glossa. HardcoreChristianity.com, hit the teaching button at the top. And please remember, my podcast is Sunday at 9 o'clock in the morning Pacific time, twitch.tv. Please remember our services Thursday and Friday nights at 7 o'clock. They're live services, preaching, teaching, healing, and deliverance at every service. See you next time.